Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. I hope you are doing great today. In this video of Google Ads course playlist, I'm going to teach you how to create app installation campaign in Google Ads. Well, guys, this is not that easy to create an app installation campaign because there is a bit difference between your ordinary sales or engagement campaign and app installation campaign. So let's get into the video and learn how to create a proper and effective app installation campaign in Google Ads. So guys, as you can see, right now I'm in my Google Ads account and here we do have the first one is this. If you want to create a new campaign, obviously you have to click here. Otherwise, you can click on this create icon as well. Both are same. You just have to click on this and click on campaign so that you can create a new campaign. Now here you have to select the objective first. Obviously, if you have created any campaign previously, so you might know that first you have to select the objective and right now we are going to select app promotion because we want to uh, run app installation campaign. Otherwise, if you select this, you'll be able to see many campaign types here. But if you select app promotion option, then you'll be able to see only one campaign type, which is app, right? So uh, by default, we have to select this. Then we have to select the subtype as well, campaign subtype, right? So we are going to select app installations because we need only installations right now. Otherwise, if you have installation, basically the minimum installation of 250K, then you can run app engagement campaign as well. But for that, you need to have minimum of 250K installations, right? Otherwise, you can go with the third option, which is app pre-registration, but this is only for Android users, right? So right now I'm going with the most useful one and the most popular one, which is app installation. Now, once your campaign subtype is done, you have to go to uh, this option where you have to select the platform on which platform you want to run your campaign, right? So I'm going to go with Android. Now here you have to search the application. If your application is listed, basically published on Google Play Store, then you can directly search the name of that application and you'll be able to see that like this. Right now, let me select the application. Once your application is selected, you have to name this campaign. So let me use the default name, which is app promotion app six. Let me go with this, hit the continue button, click on start new. Because uh, obviously I'm creating the new campaign, right? So here our mobile app has been already selected. Now we have to select the location and in location, if you want, you can select the whole country. Uh, maybe you are in US or Canada, you have to, uh, you can select any country which you want, right? But for now, I just want to promote my application in one city, which is Delhi, right? Delhi is the cap capital of India. So I'm going to select Delhi. I have hit that click on target button, right? Now here we do have a few more options related to target and exclusion part. So what is the meaning of the basically what is the use of these options? The first one is presence or interest and the second one is presence. This is in target option. So the meaning of presence or interest basically let's say I'm select uh, I'm targeting Delhi city, right? So people who are living in that location, people who are living in Delhi and people who are searching for Delhi, both type of people, both type of audience will be targeted if you select this option because people who are living in that location because people who are uh, present on that location and people who are showing interest on that location will be targeted if you select this option. Otherwise, if you select this option, then people only uh, living in that location will be targeted if you select this, right? And same goes with the exclusion part as well. If you add any excluded area or city or any location, then those options will gonna work, right? So if you want to add uh, any exclusion part, you just have to select the, uh, search the area or the location. Then you have to click on the exclude. Like uh, if I click on Noida, which is the neighboring city of Delhi. And if I click on exclude, the Noida will be excluded. As you can see, this is Delhi, which is targeted and this one is excluded. Hit the save button. Now, once you are done with your location, you can select your language. So right now I'm going with all languages and to select all languages, you have to remove this and 
by default all languages will be selected right in more settings we do have few more options the first one is campaign start and end date if you want you can add the start and end date of your campaign and if you don't want to set those start and end it you can leave it like this then we have data feed data feed let me open this data feed is basically let's say you have an e-commerce application right and along with the app promotion you want to sell the products which you are offering in your application right so for that you have to use data feed you just have to check this box and once you are done uh, once you check this box you will get two options either you can go with dynamic ad feed or you can go with google merchant center feed right so what this option will do this option will show your products with the application as well right and if you uncheck this box if you don't use data feed then your only app will be promoted right but if you have the products which can be sold online like e-commerce like let's say you have an amazon type product right amazon type application which sells the product right so you can use that data feed option you don't have to do anything you just have to uh, add those same products which are available in your application you just have to add those product in your google merchant center and then you have to connect that merchant center account with your google ads account and you'll be able to use this option google merchant center which is the very useful one right as you can see our merchant center is connected that's why it is showing here but i don't want to go with this because i'm promoting our marketing fundas which is educational application that is not any e-commerce application right so i'm not using data feed option now let's hit the next button and we'll be into budgeting and bidding option so the budget I want to use right now for this campaign will be 1600 rupees, which is roughly around $20 a day. This is my daily budget. Now in bidding option, the first option is what do you want to focus on? So it is defaultly set on install volumes and you can't do anything here because all other options are automatically turned off, right? Because we in the campaign subtype option, we have selected campaign in sorry, application installation. So here automatically our campaign will be focused on camp uh, installation volume, right? Then how do you want to track the install volume? Obviously through Google Play Store, as you can see Google Play is showing here. So using Google Play, uh, we want to track and it is the recommended one. There is no any other option. So you can't do anything here. Then we have what kind of users you want to target. Right now it is defaultly set on all users and the second option is users likely to perform in the app uh, app, app action in app, app action but it is turned off by default right now and if you want to uh, turn it on you have to set up conversion tracking right because without conversion tracking you can't just judge that which one is likely to uh, perform in app actions right so if you select basically if you set uh, conversion tracking then you can select this app, uh, option otherwise you can go with all users option then this option is by defaultly checked this is basically that how much money you are willing to pay for an installation if you uncheck this box then the option will be automatically vanished but if you want to select basically if you want to add that let's say i don't want to pay more than 10 rupees for an installation so you can add that amount here right now it is showing that a typical cost per installation for other apps targeting you selected in area uh, selected area is rupees 5.5 so i can go with six maybe or i can add 10 rupee this is the maximum cost i'm willing to pay for an installation right once you are done hit the next button and here you have to create your ad right this option is getting loaded uh, this is basically the prioritized products but obviously we don't have any product here we are an educational application so this option will be turned off you don't have to do anything here but if you add data feed as i've shown in the campaign settings then you can use this option but right now there is no point of using this option right now here you have to create your ad and as you can see here your ads will be shown on different different platforms on display network search network youtube discover google Displ discover and 
Google Play as well. So these are the platforms where your ads will be shown. So you have to create your ads accordingly, right? You can add up to five headlines. You can add up to five descriptions, 20 images, 20 videos, and 20 HTML5 codes. Codes is basically, HTML5 is basically animations which you can show to your uh, audience in order to get more installation because this makes more interactive right so if you want to uh, make your ad more interactive then you can add few html files as well right so this is how you have to create the uh, an app installation campaign i'm not gonna uh, show you that how to write headline and description here you already know that how to write a headline and description because this will take so much time of yours and there's no point of showing writing headline and description let me just do one thing let me write one headline and one description uh, best educational application this is the headline I'm using and install marketing fundas application to learn digital marketing. This is the description I have added and if I have images in my Yes, I have images, few images in my campaign. I'm using this one. Hit the save button. You can go up to 20 images. I'm only adding one because I'm not creating a proper campaign, right? And I can add videos as well. If you want to add videos, you don't have to directly add videos into your Google Ads account. This will not be accepted. First, you have to upload it on a YouTube channel. You have to create on you uh, create a YouTube channel, upload that video, and then you can search that video from here, right? So this will automatically use that video as an ad asset, right? So let me select this one. Oops. Let me just select this and hit the save button. And yeah. I don't have HTML5 right now, so I'm not going to do this. I've just added the main things, right? Once you are done with the ad creation process, hit the next button and here you have to review all the things. Once the campaign review is done, you just have to click on the publish button. Here you'll be able to see the publish button once the error checking is done. As you can see, right now it is showing at least two headlines are required because I have added only one headline that's why the publish button is not showing this is the main problem in this campaign it is showing right once you add proper app ad assets then you are good to go so I hope you understood how to create a proper app installation campaign and if you still have any question or query or any kind of confusion please comment down below I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself with that said, I'll be meeting you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button.